Near left edge. <sighs> Take picture. Centered. Okay. Hey guys, welcome to video number seven of Outperforming the Horde episode two. And um, hopefully we'll get this kitchen done today. That would be awesome. But anyways, we'll see. Here we go. Pause video. One face near my edge. I'm Marlene, and I'm the worst hoarder on the planet Earth, practically. I'm a hoarder gone beyond the list. Of my name is Celeste, and I'm a star. Going in the house was like a bomb went off at Walmart. She collects like no holds barred. Never in my whole life did I ever imagine that I would turn into such a half-round order as I've done now. I was a fashion model for many, many years in Italy and in Paris. When she showed me the pictures, I just thought she was so beautiful. I think that was one of the best parts in my life, but when I first met my husband and fell in love, that was another really wonderful part. My name is David Lear, and Merlene is my ex-wife. Our relationship was storybook, really, from the beginning. It was so easy to be with her. I think she felt the same way about me. I felt like we had stepped onto a magic carpet and we just flew. Flew for you a couple, two, three years until things started to go kind of sour. My ex-husband would start dating other women, unbeknownst to me. Once I found out about that, then I just wanted a divorce. Oh, I was terribly, terribly depressed, and I sometimes felt suicidal, but I had my daughter to think of, and she was That's only no two fun. at the time. I imagine a time when she was really happy, in love, and just feeling on top of the world, and it's funny how things can just come crashing down. I didn't think much of it until I was about 14 or 15 and my mom refused to allow me to have friends to come over. My hoarding has caused an incredible rift between me and my daughter. Even when I was a kid, we fought. I felt like I could never clearly communicate with her. Honestly, it felt like banging my head against the wall. They said, we have a complaint about two cars filled with trash. And I said, well, that's not trash. I said, some of it's stuff I'm going to take to the thrift store. I'm Dorothy Berninger. I'm a professional organizing expert, and I specialize in hoarding. I'm Dr. Mel Crane, board-certified psychiatrist, specializing in anxiety disorders and hoarding behaviors. Feeling like running down the street screaming. Yeah. But you know what? This is the moment. This is the time that we have to make a change. Just let me work for God's sakes. For God's sakes, let me work. Merlene wants to see everything. So what are you putting in here? This is trash, Mom. Honey, I have to see what's going on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to go through every little thing. Oh, it's not fair. I'm really concerned. Merlene is incredibly anxious. You're going to pass out if you don't slow down. Celeste is really trying to help Marlene, but she herself is so frightened. Okay. Listen, your daughter is scared to death. Do you understand that? Yeah. How are we going to handle this one? Well, this is going to be the hardest for me. The only room she really lives in is her bedroom, and I know that that's a sacred space, and it's going to be really tough. We have to clear this room, all right? So what we're going to do... We're not going to clear the whole room, are we? Well, yes. Oh, yeah. We have to. So, wait, wait. This, this is You're fast doing, fast. You know what? You're doing what I asked you not to well, do. Well, I'm sorry. We have to work fast. We don't have that much longer to do this, so the time is of the essence. I've tried to tell you that before. Oh. 
One face near right edge. Near left edge. It's so hard for you. Your whole house has been filled with toilet paper, snotty rags. What do you want? Hiding here for the rest of your life? I'm raising my voice and grossing out and wanting to alert you and alarm you. Can you see why I really want this for you? Like we're all here supporting you and this is the chance for the breakthrough moment. This is your chance to live a new life. I need to hear a yes, if you're still in the game. Yes, I am. One face near my edge. Good job. Thank you. One face near my edge. This is an emotional thing when you're trying to fill yourself up. And you get the stuff yeah. and you're filled up for a little while and then you're empty again and you go back out to try and fill yourself up again emotionally. Yeah. One face near my edge. We're getting ready to go in and show Marie her house. Like she has not seen a floor in 30 years. Oh my God, it looks like a human home. Oh my vitamins. Oh, that is so I thought you were gonna live forever. Oh, that is amazing. It seems like a miracle that I can walk from room to room in my house after 15 years of not being able to... One face near my edge. The house is completely transformed. But one of the greatest things to witness was the evolution of the communication between Celeste and her mom. I'm so happy for you. This is your chance for me. It's been hard for me, but I'm happy that you helped me. I feel like you made one step forward in my relationship. I'm so it's a miracle what has occurred between me and my daughter because the Centered. The, the One face centered. My heart. Near left edge. I've been tormented my whole life over my relationship with my mother. But it feels new and, and renewed. I'm excited about Lillian's future. She wants to be on a greater path. This is her thing. Yes. To get you back on the path. Right. I think you just got a little stuck or derailed along the very, way. Very, very stuck and derailed. But we're going to agree that you're going to continue on the path. Yes, I am. Right? I certainly am. I'm so happy that she has a chance for me. She deserves it. Welcome to the first day of my new life, right? The rest your the rest of my life. Right? Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much.
Yeah. One face near right edge. Okay. Centered. Okay. Video. Hey, so that was video number, I believe, it's seven. Near left edge. No, we did not make it this time. We did not do 100 units in one video this time. So we are going to be continuing on. Um, and uh, Kitty is patiently waiting to spend time with us. So I want to get things going. But that kitchen counter. One looks face near left edge. Better. I know I wanted to address something that um, the lady said, you know. It's like you're filling yourself up over and over again. And that's the truth. It's the truth. If you're empty in, inside yourself and you you want to feel happy and you want to feel fulfilled and you grab a you grab a thing, whatever that thing is, and you put it in your house and stuff and then and then you know it it, it doesn't last. It's fleeting. You might have that one face in your left years, edge, but the pleasure of it didn't last for you. And so um for me you know, I need to fill myself up with the Lord Jesus because he always lasts. He's forever. And stop filling myself up with things. Um, so that was what I thought of when I heard of what she Near said top left about edge. that. So anyways, I'll see you guys in video number eight. Near take picture. Stop recording video. Bye.